Hello. Today we will learn how to do particle analysis in this one. Okay, G plus the four structure. Let us go to the geometry run structure wizard and go to the frame models. Select the B frame. Let us take length of the structure is 15 meters, height of the structure also 15 meters, and width of the structure is 12 meters, number of base in the length 5, and height 5, and width, let us take 4, apply, go to the file, and match the model, yes. we can start it up from the 0, 0, this is the structure we got into the stack pro window. Let us go to the property, define the properties. Let us take the rectangle for the column. Let us give point 3 5 and point 3 5. Add. Let us take the column uh, beam dimensions as point 0.45 width of the beam is 0.3 add and close this is the column dimension select select the beams parallel to the y and assign to the selected beams yes this is the beam go to the select beams parallel to the x and beams parallel to z or z and assign to the beams selected yes then supports has to be given let us go to the supports create the support add the fixed end select the support and go to the different view select the nodes at the bottom go to the isometric view Assign to the selected box. Assign. Yes. And then now we have to go to the loads and definitions. When you are doing the earthquake analysis, first we are supposed to define the earthquake load. Seismic definition. Add it. Okay. Let us go to the is 18, 93, 2002, 2005 and generate the values then let us select the city if you know the city you can go with the city or otherwise if you know the zone of the area you can go to the zone let us take the city Maybe let us take the Bangalore. It comes under the zone one and select the response reduction uh, response reduction factor. As generally we do take ordinary RC moment resisting frame and for that it is the least three. If it is important building like a hospital educational building, so we take select as a important. Let us take the general building and the factor importance factor is one for the general building and for the important building it is a one point five. let us go with the general of the building let us take the soil as a medium soil and structure is a rc frame structure and damping ratio is 0 0.05 percent and let us uh, not touch this formation of the depth and the periods generate all the values has come here And here we are supposed to, let us close, then we are supposed to add this self weights. Generally the self weight factor, whatever the dead loads will be taken to the 0.50% uh, and live loads is taken as say 25% as per the code. Self weights, let us take the factor as 1, add it and to the member weights. Member weights fully formally loaded. Let us take it as a dead load. 
the 50 percent then let us go with the sum actually the 15 kilo newton per meter uh, per meter it will be so let us take it as a 50 percent and let us give 7 that is going to act we should not give any direction because we doesn't know that's what the only the magnitude should be given add it and then to the floor weights the elements weights has to be given pressure is also let us take 3.75 including those as also have a 50 percent Maximum what is the height of the structure is of 15 and x range is of 15 and z range is of 12. Yes. Then let us assign these nodes to the members. Select beams parallel to the x and select beams parallel to the z. Assign to the selected members and assign. Yes. As it is over, let us go to the load case details. Load case details. Let us assign the dead load. Of course, we have supposed to give the earthquake loads, the seismic loads, earthquake load in this X direction. Load in the y direction, z direction. Only I am giving in the two directions, even minus x and minus z direction. Also, you can give. Add it. Then close. Earthquake load and earthquake load to be here. The plate loads. Just the x direction factor 1 and add it. Close. Let's go to the z direction and it's a slip load in z direction. There is one. Added. Then go to assign the dead loads and light loads. Add dead load. Y direction minus 1, add it and then dead load, one more dead load is nothing but the member load, go to the member load, uniformly it is going to act on the, all load is going to act on the beams, let's take it is going to act in the downwards minus and 14 and G Y direction, add it and one more the floor loads should be added four loads and in the y direction the pressure is minus <coughs> minus 4.5 as per the code y range is 15 x range is also 15 and z range is 12 add it let us add the light load Select the live load and then live load is only the floor load, which is of the minus 2 as per the code. This is also y range is 15, x range is 15, and 
z ranges Let s assign to the respective elements. L by tag set to the entire structure assigned to the view. Yes. And this is only to the members. So select these parallel to the x and select these parallel to the z. Assign to the selected beams and assign. Yes. And then load loading sign and all the elements are assigned. Let us define the let us add the analysis command and okay. close. Let us go to the analysis, run analysis and so. is not given with the analysis in the tension it is ok acceptable let us close this let us go to the ways away to the general we have not assigned the load combination let us go to the analysis load keys details add it auto Auto load combination, take the Indian code, generate the loads, generate it, add, close. Let us run the analysis. Let's go to the design, design and go to the concrete, select the Indian code IS456, define the members and only the steel and the concrete and diameters of the parts. secondary ok and define the parameters strength I will take it as a M30 grade of concrete add it steel I will take only 150 add it main I will take the 20 mm add it and minimum secondary 8 mm add it and close let it time I'll give the commands commands design beam add design column add and take up okay close let us close then come down and assign all these things assign to the view assign steel also to the same assign all the parameters to the entire view. Yes. Design beam. Select the beams parallel to the X and select beams parallel to the C and assign to the selected beams. Yes. And assign to the design column beams parallel to the Y and assign to the selected beams and run the analysis yes this is what the how we do the design thank you